Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about modes. And we've got to start with the sometimes controversial statement that modes are not scales. More specifically, modes are not scale shapes on your guitar. Now, guitar scales help us find the right notes that we want to use, but a guitar scale by itself does not create a mode. Stay with me though, because we're going to quickly and effectively cover every mode of the major scale. Now, the way we have traditionally learned guitar scales is by starting on the root note and playing seven notes until you get up to the octave. So if we're in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now we would commonly call that a C major scale, and technically that is correct. However, it is missing musical context, and we need musical context in order to get the sound of a mode. It could be a chord, a chord progression, a bass line, or even a drone tone. Playing in a mode has nothing to do with starting and ending on a particular note. It has everything to do with playing over the proper musical context. So in order to demonstrate this effectively, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the notes of C major and I'm going to play them over every chord that is harmonized from the C major scale. Now by doing this, you're going to hear the seven major scale modes and I won't have to change the guitar scale shape that I'm using. I could use any major guitar scale shape but I'm just going to stick to one to demonstrate this. As long as I play C, D, E, F, G, A, B, that's what we're looking for. So for these examples, I'm going to use my three note per string C major scale that begins on the eighth fret, and I'll play it over the backing track examples where each chord is outlined by the guitar and bass. This is the scale I'll be using. <laughs> The first chord harmonized from the C major scale happens to be C major, and when you play the C major notes over it, you get the Ionian mode. So as you hear in C major, it sounds very shiny, happy, upbeat. There's really nothing I could do inside that scale to make it sound anything other than Ionian. The next chord we're going to look at is the second note in our scale. So we did C, now we do D, and harmonized off of that note is D minor. That creates the Dorian sound. Pay special attention as we play the Dorian mode now. I'm going to use the exact same scale shape, but now I'm going to be forced more into playing notes that outline the D minor chord, because now D minor is our home base, and D minor just happens to have D, F, and A notes in there. So when you hear those, you want to play those more because then you're harmonizing with them and it sounds better. But I'm using the exact same guitar scale shape to outline the notes in C major, but this time we get D Dorian. third chord harmonized from the C major scale is E minor. So when we play the C major notes over that, we get the mode sound of Phrygian. fourth chord harmonized from the C major scale is F major, and playing the C major notes over the F major creates the Lydian mode. It's a major sounding mode, but to me it's always sounded a little unresolved and floaty, if that's a word, but a lot of people will think of Joe Satriani and Steve Vai because they use the Lydian mode quite a bit. The fifth chord harmonized from the major scale is going to be G major, and that creates the sound of the Mixolydian mode when we play the C major scale notes over it. Keep in mind, I'm still using the exact same scale shape. The 
sixth chord created from the C major scale is A minor. So when we play the C major notes over A minor, we get the Aeolian mode. And it is a minor mode, and it is somewhat darker than the modes created by the other minor chords, Dorian and Phrygian. The seventh chord created from the C major scale is going to be B diminished, and when you play the C major notes over B diminished, you get the sound of B locrian. Now it sounds very unstable and like it wants to resolve because that's in its nature actually. It's used in classical and jazz probably the most, so you won't hear it that often. So there you have the seven modes of the major scale. The scale shapes that you decide to use are completely irrelevant as long as they contain the notes that are in the key you're playing. Shapes on the fretboard don't matter, the notes do. The sound of the mode is created by putting the right notes over the proper chord as we did. We used the same C major scale over and over again, but we created all seven major scale modes. All of the other major keys are gonna work exactly the same way to create the sound of the modes. If you have any questions about this at all, please make sure to ask down in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond. But if you want the ultimate deep dive into modes, make sure you check out my friend Daniel Serif's course. He just put out a new course on this and I've looked at it and it is phenomenal. And he goes into great detail. He's a great teacher. He makes sure you know exactly how all these modes work and how you can go do it yourself. He's given me a discount code, which I put in the description below so that you can go get your own course on modes. But Daniel also teaches things like diagonal arpeggios and diagonal pentatonics. He truly has some of the best courses online, so check that out. If you enjoyed today's content, please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel, and subscribe if you will. And a great free way that you can support my channel is if you're already buying guitar strings or guitars or amps or picks or whatever it may be, please use my Sweetwater affiliate links down below, and it won't cost you anything extra, but it does help support my channel in a small way. And in fact, I have all of my gear that I use listed down there below, and you can click on that and look at it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.